Hey everyone, Max at 343 Labs here. We're a music production school based in New York City, Berlin and online. Now the last tutorial I did for you was music theory hacks for producers part one. Now this is part two and I'm gonna show you four more really essential hacks that'll step up your production game. So the first hack I'm gonna show you is how to figure out the baseline for your chord progression and your song. Now I know a lot of students that might be a little unsure about which bass notes to use in their song. It's actually really easy. The best bass notes to use are the roots of the chords. So I'm going to delete the top two notes. And since it's a bass part, I also have to drop this part down at least two octaves. And let's see what that sounds like. There you go, that sounds pretty good to me. And it's a super simple hack just to make sure that your bass is playing the best notes possible in the chord and to support the harmony of your song. All right guys, so the next hack I'm gonna show you is syncopation and using syncopation in your productions to create rhythmic excitement. So syncopation is a type of rhythm that goes against the main beat of the song. So for example, if you have a kick drum uh, playing on every beat, one, two, three, four, a syncopated rhythm would be one that goes against that, like dun, 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 dun. And it creates that tension that we find really exciting to listen to. So let me demonstrate on these chords. Although you could add syncopation to drums, you could add it to bass, any part really. I'm gonna select these chords and bring them down to a 16th note. And now I'm gonna group them into groups of three. The thing is that the groups of three are gonna go against the groups of four played by the kick drum because the kick drum is playing quarter notes, one, two, three, four, and the quarter notes are subdivided by four 16th notes. Here we're doing groups of three 16th notes. So I'm leaving two 16th notes space to create that grouping of three. Let's see what that sounds like. There you have it. As you can see, syncopation is a super effective technique to create rhythmic excitement in your tracks. And I've used it many, many times. All right, guys, the next hack is going to be focused on melody. Now, when you're writing a melody, my advice is to keep it simple and use repetition. I'm gonna demonstrate. All right, let's take a look at this melody. So you don't have to be uh, an amazing piano player. I certainly am not an amazing piano player, but I know enough piano just to get by on the keyboard. It's really helpful to be able to play notes in, in real time because your ideas get to you in a different way than if you were trying to just write them in using the pencil tool or something like that. So I really recommend getting at least a little bit of uh, keyboard knowledge and some keyboard skills. Let's take a look at the melody. So I said to keep it simple and to use repetition. Now, this is a simple melody. It's using not too many notes. It's using long notes. It's easy to follow. Um, and I am using a lot of repetition, as you can see. So first of all, I've got two phrases that each consist of four bars. Here's phrase one and here's phrase two. And as you can tell, is that the beginning of each phrase is the same. And that is the repetition part, right? That is the beginning in phrase one. And here it is again in phrase two. And now the difference is this part where it goes, The first phrase goes down, and the second phrase goes up. 
And then we have this one note at the very end of each phrase, which kind of leads back into the beginning of the next phrase, which is... And here it goes. So I'm using the repetition at the beginning of the phrase and then changing it up a bit just to keep the excitement and a little bit of variation to keep the interest of the listener. But then I'm repeating it again for the next phrase, changing it up again a little bit at the end. My advice is to keep your melodies simple so they're easy to follow for the listener and people will remember them. All right, so the final hack I'm gonna show you is one of my favorites and is a super powerful technique which can take your songs from major to a minor key or vice versa from a minor key to a major key. So let me show you how to take this song from major to minor. Now, first of all, I'm just going to duplicate these clips. And the very simple hack here is that you just take your third, sixth and seventh note and put them down a half step. Then that'll take you from the major key to the parallel minor key. There are two different types of key relationships. There's relative, which is going down three half steps from the major key, and that'll take you to the relative minor, and those keys share the same notes. Or you can go to the parallel minor, which uses the same root, but has different notes. I'm gonna follow my advice and find the third, sixth, and seventh note, which in the key of C are E, A, and B. Here's my E in the bass part. And here's my A, there's no B, that's fine. And I'm gonna take these notes and put them down a half step. Now you've gotta do this to every single part because every single part has to be in the same key. I'm gonna head over to my melody. Again, I'm gonna find the E. And I'm gonna find an A, there's, an, there's no A up above, but is there a B? Yes, there's a B here and no A. So I'm gonna go take these down a half step. Head over to my chords and find the E, find the A, no A, find the B, find the B below, find the A below, take them down a half step. And finally my pads. Find the E. That's the highest note. Find, here's an A. Find a B. And that's it. Take those down a half step. Let's just make sure that I did this all correctly. That looks good. So here's major. And here is minor. Back to major. So there you have it. That is a super useful hack moving from major to minor or from minor to major, which I find really powerful and really effective to change the mood of a song. Take it from kind of like a bright sound to a darker sound or from a a darker sound to a brighter sound. So that's the end of my tutorial. I hope you were able to learn a few things. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe below and hit that bell notification. We go live several days per week on our 343 TV streams. And if you wanna check out our school, take some courses or just join our community, you can do so at 343labs.com or 343labs.de for our German website. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.